show you how much serious I am to marry you. Right. Come on! My princess, please. Leave my room. Stop. I'm very serious, please. This is Don't say me alone. This is to show me how serious you are about marrying me. Benjamin. By laying naked on my bed. Wait a minute. Are, are you trying to say you're not getting turned on by, by just seeing my skin? No, ma. I'm not. Can you leave my room? Please. Oh, don't put me into trouble. Leave my room now. This is wrong. Are, are you okay? Are you I, will, normal? I will leave this room for you. Benjamin. Leave my room. Oh my God. They want my jolla jolla. They said they hate me before. Now they come, they love me, die. Jay, ordinary cook. I'm done to love our boy. I was in my heart to kick you. Jay, I'm not so sick. Abobi, I'm scared though. Well, I'm scared. You, ghetto boy. Scared of what? So you see nothing wrong in sleeping with three sisters. To crown it all, they are all princesses. You know, I why am I scared? Bro, she be like you talk say those girls, they harsh on you for that palace. This is an opportunity for you to use them. I mean, use them and useless them. But be careful, though. Use protection. I mean, full-time protection. Is that? Use protection. You, your problem is that, sir, you, you see nothing wrong in me sleeping with the sisters, the princesses. I'm telling you, you don't calculate the risk. You're just saying, ah, use them, use them, use them. It's not easy. What's the risk forget. then? You see that their last daughter. That girl is the best. She's so peaceful, she's calm, she's, she respects everyone. In fact, you see that one? The last princess. From the look of things, she's the one for me to marry. What a peaceful woman be. See who is talking about marriage. You wasted the work for that palace and you talk about marriage. Wake up from this dream, oh bro. Which one is marriage? Marry, you want to marry? Marry who? The last time I checked, you're still working in that palace as a cook. Cook, cook, what? Not as a prince from the other village. So, who says a cook cannot marry a, a princess? Is love not blind? Corona and Kamafuzo. Is love not blind? What did you Fuzo? Or you have a Ghana? Lead, blind man. Be walking, be walking, be walking. Bro, wake up from this dream. Which one is you want to marry princess? Palace cook. Who does that? Close your eyes and walk now. Alpha, come in. Ivy. Ivy, you stop me. What's going happen? Okay. Very good, the gubitas are very Very fast. Guy, the gubitas are on course. I'll get a bring the gubitas to show yourself. I'll be just saying, no, Fipe. Give us the gubitas now. Uh uh. Do something now. Maybe some carpet. This is the way they never be achieved, bar. Come on, get your name. Why are you carrying bags now? I'm not comfortable. You need to calm down. What about your life? See? Is your face like this? What is it? Huh? Rena, I need to be left alone. No, sis. You can't say this. You know I care about you so much. I can't just see you in this mood and walk away. What is it? I said I need to be left alone. Sister, no. Are you mad? Come on! Come on, English! You can't understand! I need to be left alone! Now, disappear from this place! Leave my sight now! Sorry. Disappear from me at once! Get out! Um, uh, I don't understand what you mean by you want him gone. Dad, I want that young man to be gone from this palace ASAP, as soon as possible. And what has he done? 
dad, the right question should have been, what has he not done? I mean, that thing, that stupid boy had the nerves to seduce me. What? He did? Dad, excuse me, have I ever come to you with such before? No, you should know when I'm being real. That idiot, that bastard crossed his boundaries and needs to be punished. He needs to be punished. This is interesting. Very, very interesting. Princess. Hi, babe. I'm fine. Greetings. Guess what? What? <laughs> I went shopping today. I stopped at the boutique and also the mall. So I got you these um, wonderful items. <laughs> My princess. Yes? Are you serious? Ah, of course. Yeah. I know you will love them. The accessories, the shoes, the bag. <laughs> Thank you very much, my princess. You I like it? This. I love them. Ah, come on. You don't have to thank me. You are my man. My responsibility. That is who you are. So anything I'm doing for you, just take it. That your baby is doing everything for you. <laughs> See, I feel, I, feel like, I feel like hugging and kissing you. No, no, no. no. I, I've been cutting onions and pepper. I don't want to touch my baby with onions and pepper and... Ouch! <laughs> I know, my baby knows what I like. Yes. <laughs> I have a pot of fire. Once I'm done cooking, eh? okay. I will freshen up. Then keep a single and cup. I trust you. Thank you, my baby. No, Just no. take care of yourself and enjoy, okay? Yes. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> What if Esther, my friend, is right? There is no way my husband will agree to take another wife, even in afterlife. I have to digest this fact and move on. Since he cannot do it, I may find favor in the lions of another man. It wouldn't be, wouldn't it be demeaning asking my palace quick to sleep with me? Huh? Who knows how he will feel about it? It is handsome and very manly enough to likely produce a male child as his first seed. I just have to try my luck with him and God willing, he will accept my proposal. I just can't wait to give my beloved husband an heir to his throne. He certainly cannot be the last king of his lineage. No. Agidi. God. Yes, my king. Agidi, tell Benji I want to behold his presence now. Okay, my king. And be fast about it. Okay, see my king. You sent for me, Your Highness. Benji, I want you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. Just the whole truth. Tell me the truth. What do you feel for my daughter? Sir? Do you love my daughter? Tell me just the truth. Your Highness. Which of your daughters are you talking about? If he, my first daughter. What do you feel for her? Just say it. Just Your Highness, I... I... 
remember what I said. If you tell me the truth about it, I promise you here and now, as I speak, I will hand that over to you as a wife. Life. Ori. Um, I know you're very, very close to the cook. Yes, I know. I know you're even more close to him than I am. Um, are you interested in him? How no? No. We are just friends. And besides, he's helping me perfect my cooking skills. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Yes. You mean you're not interested in him? No. Yes, that's good. That means you will help me talk to him. Talk to him? Yes. About what? <sighs> Uri, yeah. the truth is, I'm interested in the cook. Yes, I know it may, it may sound surprised to you, but that's the truth. I'm interested in him. I love him. And, and I want him to be my man. Ngozika. <laughs> Wait. You are interested in him. Yes. And you want him to be your man. Yes, of course. Our cook. Ngozi, is this a joke? How is this a joke? Do I look like I'm joking or do I sound funny? Because I don't understand it. Come on, Ure. Eh? Can't you see that guy? He's everything any woman would want. Take a look at his face, the way he dances, you know, everything about him is just perfect. I want him to be my man. Ngozika, Ngozika, are you the one saying this? Of course, I'm the one saying this. Because the last time I checked, you are the one that loaded everything about this guy. You never seem to insult and embarrass him in any given opportunity. Ngozika. Why this sudden interest? Why? Please forget about all those things. Eh? Stop speaking all this grammar up and down. Eh, what has happened has happened. It's in the past already. The present is I want him. And Uwe, you have to help me. You have to help his sister. Please. Anytime I try to come close to him, he resists me. He always rejects me. He doesn't want me to come close to him. But I, I really want him. That's the truth. I yearn for him. Music, I don't know what to say. I am disappointed. Honestly, I don't know what to say. But don't worry. I will think about it. You will think about it or you will help me talk to him? I didn't say I will help you. I said I will think about it. Uh -huh. I will think about it. All right. What about my husband? I don't know. I think he left the, the palace with some of the elders. Oh, that's nice. Come. I would want you to keep what we're about to do now between us. Nobody should hear about it. I mean, nobody. Come. Come. Come and sit here. Oh? No, no, please. I, 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 please, leave, leave, leave me first, Lola, before you leave. No, it's fresh, oh. it's Lola, not dry. Lola, please, you are bigger than this, Lola, you can just leave my, my room, please. Are you not a man? I'm giving you a gift, something on a platter. You don't need to pay, you don't need to worry yourself. Just do, just help me. Lola, I'm not a man at this point. Please, leave my room. Oh. Okay, sh should I come and sit on your lap? No, no, this is child abuse. Leave my room. You're not a child. You're a full-grown man. No, ma, please. Okay, let me, let me come and join you. No, 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 please. Leave my room, please, ma. Look at my face. Don't you like me? Look at me. Why are you hiding your face from me? No, no, please. Please. You are bigger than this. Leave my room. Benji, help me. You're a very fine man. Just no, help me. I can't do this, Lolo. Please, don't put me into trouble. 
There's no trouble everywhere. Nobody's in the palace. Just told me, my husband is not in the palace. No, no, Biko. Come hey, now. No, no, Biko. Mind you, no, 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 Biko. Just leave my room. Look at me now. Don't be bending your eyes. Look at me. Oh, no, no. you dad how could you i overheard you guys conversation you just threw me under the box like that no you sold me so cheaply why would you go asking him if he's interested in me but a young man is interested in marrying you are you not old enough are you not mature are you not ripe enough to get married my daughter dad i want to get married of course Oh, certainly not to a riffraff. And you call him a riffraff. I am your dad. I can stand him as a man. I give him enough money. Yes. <laughs> dad, you are going off point because this is in the plan. You were supposed to send him away. That was what, what I was expecting from you. Why would you expect me to send the young man away where he did nothing to me? Where he did nothing physically to you? As a matter of fact, the young man is not ready to get married yet, so let him be. Oh, oh my God. F Father, to be honest with you, you are so unbelievable. I can't. I can't deal with you both. <laughs> oh, fucker. <laughs> what is even going on in this palace? Huh? Everybody are now for up and down. It seems I will live here for them. I don't like nonsense. Why can't they drink one can allow me to think and execute my mission here? When you open an eye here, I'll see if they never see fine man. She said he was seductively looking at her or something. I don't understand. Who? Ify, our daughter. She said our cook was seductively looking at her, trying to seduce her. But when I asked the young man, he denied ever looking at her. What? How dare he? How dare he do that? It's okay. Uh -uh. Take it easy before you hold it on an innocent young man. It's gonna never be easy. Huh? Let me even ask you, my queen. Is our daughter not overripe to get married? My daughter is ripe to get married. But certainly not for a low life. She will not settle for a low life. Low life or no low life. I am in support of my daughter getting married. Let me tell you, I will even sponsor the marriage. As far as she fixes her body with any figure by name, man, I am in support. Mongol. It is better than remaining in this house, trying to find out who stayed at her or who did not stay at her. What do you think? I don't know whether you want to dash her to a man. But certainly she will get married at God's appointed time. And if it is God's appointed time that she must get married to that young man, so let it be. Are you aware that that young man is responsible already? He's a wonderful cook. Yes, he's a wonderful cook. His delicacy is something to write home about. So at least he has something to it for now. I was very good, Sonny. You have to be pleased. Sis, can you imagine what that did? Imagine him going asking that riffraff if he wants to marry me. What? You mean that asked the cook to marry you? You can imagine the nonsense. Oh my goodness. Oh my God! I mean, and what did he tell Dad? 
says, listen, I didn't even bother asking him what he said because I could care less about whatever the idiot has to say. My anger is that of all the able-bodied men in this town, Dad decided to stoop so low as to ask him a commoner, I mean, an ordinary cook, if he wants to marry me. I mean, has he gotten to the point of father finding a husband for you? I mean, why? Listen, sis, I'm not even angry with that going to search for a husband for me. Of course, I want to settle down, but not with that commoner. Imagine cheapening himself as to go asking him if he wants to marry me. That's condescending. You know, why would that treat me that way? He made, it, he made, it, he made me look so cheap, like what legs before a commoner. I know, just... Calm down. No, listen, you do not understand, you know, because I don't even know the right way to feel right now. I'm not actually angry with that going to search for a man to marry me, but I mean, of all the able-bodied men in this town, all he could settle for, for me, was the cook. <sighs> listen, I hate myself right now. I, I hate everybody. I'm not happy. I'm... I know, you just have to calm down. It's not your fault. No, I... Please. Oh, I, he means to tell me that I cannot attract any other, you know, any good guy. I don't know. I don't know why dad is doing this. I mean, <sighs> calm down, okay? Just calm down. Listen, I'm just angry with everybody. I just need to be left alone. Father, you don't think I'm old enough to get married, do you? Of course. You're more than matured to get married. My second daughter. You are. Just like your elder sister. But I don't understand. Why do you ask? Father, if you think I'm old enough to get married, you shouldn't have neglected me. I mean, you asked the cook if he will marry Ify. Why not me? I don't understand. But I was there not to understand. I mean, I'm interested in that young man too. I want him. Oh, great. Wonderful. Then make a move. Make a move to him. I, I, I don't get you. I don't get you, father. You don't understand, too. I don't. You want him, you like him, whatever. Just make a move to him, body language. Tell him how much you feel about him. Maybe the young man will love you, too. Maybe he will love me, too. Father, why are you being so unfair and partial towards me? I want to know. I mean, you spoke to that young man about Ify. And you refuse to speak to him about me? Am I not your daughter? Fully shut it! Come on! Shut the trap! Sorry. I am not just your father. I am your king! So, shut it! I'm sorry, Dad. It's just that I want him to. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, my daughter, you see... Your sister happens to be the first daughter of this family. And she has to get married first. I can't wait for her to get married and leave my palace. Tongues are wagging outside here. People are talking. Moreover, she's your elder sister. The onus falls on her to marry first, and that is my judgment. But again, if you think you can push your luck, to the cook. Go ahead and do that. Maybe his man will love you. Maybe. They say my food is not a problem. Your Highness. Yes. 
How did you get into this place? Because I'm sure I locked my door before leaving. Doesn't matter. This is my house and my palace. I have access to all the rooms whenever I want. So don't ask me how I got in. It is my house. Yes, you. What do you want me to cook for you, Your Majesty? Nothing. I just came to apologize for what happened the other day. It was a gruesome mistake. I am so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I am sorry. I understand, Your Majesty. Good. I will appreciate it if you don't let my husband or the children know. You have nothing to worry about, Your Majesty. I will not tell anyone what transpired between us. Good. Like everyone says, nobody is above mistake. It was a very big mistake. You're right, ma'am. Excuse me. Thank you, Your Majesty. Honestly, Esther couldn't do it. Really? Yes. The whole thing is wrong. Absolutely wrong. Besides, the young man refused. He couldn't even look into my eyes. Nothing is wrong in it. And why will he refuse? You didn't tell him properly or make him an offer, did you? Come on, Esther. This whole arrangement is wrong. The whole thing, everything in this matter now is very, very wrong. I've already made a very big mistake by agreeing to betray my husband, doing this whole thing behind him. That is wrong. I thought you, you wanted to give me a son. I do. Huh? But certainly not doing what he does not approve of. Have you even thought about this? If I get pregnant in this whole process, how do I tell my husband the pregnancy belongs to him when he hardly sleeps with me? Well, I'm just trying to be of help. Hmm? It's okay. I, I, let's just end this whole thing. I appreciate everything you have done for me. But I couldn't get myself to betray my husband because he trusts me. He believes in me. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything you have done. But I couldn't get myself to do this. Because my husband believes in me. He trusts me so much. Thank you for your advice and everything. Honestly, I cannot undermine it. God bless you. Yes, come in. Come in. Uh... My princess. Mr. Benjamin, hmm? what is this? Don't you like what you see? <laughs> I wanted to do press up, so I was trying to get a moment to test if I fresh up. Mr. Benjamin, please be putting on something before asking someone to come in. It could be my mother or my father. Yeah, right. I'm sorry about that. Eh? Next time I'll put, on, I'll put on something for Madame Yumiko. I want you to be decent. Okay. Um, I want you to come outside. I want to talk to you about something. Okay. Let me go see the doctor. I'll bring that. Good. Okay. Wife material. Wife material. I'm sorry about the way I was looking when you came in. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Mr. Benjamin, please. What is really going on between me and my sisters? Which of them? You are asking which of them? <laughs> so, all of them are interested in you, right? So, what is going on? 
Answering that question will be putting myself into trouble. Please. I don't know. Wait. You don't know? As in, you have not had anything to do with any of them? My princess, what do you want me to say? Okay, let's say they want me. Yes, but I cannot be in a... I can't date three people at the same time. Oh. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing going on. Oh. So how about my elder sister? If is she interested in you? Because she seems to be the one I want her to get married and leave this palace. Yes. Hmm. Mr. Hmm. Benjamin, you know you are my friend, right? Please be honest with me. Are you interested in her? I wish I have the answer to this question. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Hola. Hmm? It seems Ife is interested in the cook. What? Ife? Yes. What is wrong with everybody living in this house that they suddenly forgot their class? I hope if you still remembers, she's a princess. And as such can't be found meddling with low lives. I hope she remembers. You can't blame her, you know. She's the eldest, our big sister. She's under pressure. She wants to get married. She's not getting any younger. I know that feeling. But even if she's desperate and needs to get married, not to a common palace cook. Oh my God. Hmm. Are you, Ola? Are you interested in the cook? Me? Hell no. Huh? Please clean your mouth. Are you serious? Never. It's just that I like the way he cooks. I like his food and all that. Aside from that, me, I can never. Please, 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 don't even think of it. Never in my life. That is Absolutely. how it should be. With who? Yes. Ah. You're right. I can't, I can't, I can't. I know. Hey, you know me now. I can't. That's how it should be. Because all of us are princesses. And we're supposed to carry ourselves with such respect. Not bringing ourselves to the level of stooping to that cook. I need to speak to Ife. I need to speak to I her. I mean, the mere thought of it alone is even provoking me. Please, can you just end this discussion? I don't Calm understand. Calm down. I will speak to her. If she wants us to help her get a husband, you know, we can actually help her get a good man, someone that, you know, we treat her right. Since the thought of it alone is provoking me, please end this discussion. I'm not joking. I'm not. I saw Ola with the cook. And something in me tells me there is something going on between the two of them. <laughs> this is not true. I, I don't think it's true. Though she told me that she likes him, and that's all. Lies. I would like to believe. Huh? Yes, all lies. She didn't tell you the entire truth. Are you insinuating that all that deceived me? Of course. No, it better not be true. It better not be true because... I mean, because? Because of what? Wait. Ife, if I may ask, are you interested in the cook? Excuse you, Ngozika. Are you mad or something? No, have you lost it? No, why would you even say a thing like that? Why would you even imagine it? Like a whole me, a whole princess, having something to do with a commoner. Never, girl. I can never stoop that low. Not in my life. 
Yes, because the difference between us is, is enough. It's wide enough. I can never go that low. What are we even talking about here? An ordinary palace cook? No, do not in your life insinuate that to me. Fine, if you say so. But if I may ask, why are you angry that Ola is with the cook? If you're not interested, For your information, Miss Questionnaire, I am only angry that Ola chose to lie to me, her elder sister. Yeah, she made me believe there was nothing, absolutely nothing between them. Yeah. So it's shocking hearing this from you. She shouldn't be found doing that. None of us should be doing that. We are royalty. You should know that. We don't have any business with that commoner. Listen, I just want to believe for the life of me that this is just nothing but a mess speculation and let it end like that. Seriously, all right? All of you. Ife Yungwa. Ife Yungwa. Do not think you can deceive me. I can see through you. I have my eyes on all of you in this palace. I've not been completely honest with you, my dear husband. What is it? You know, we never kept secret from each other since we got married. And I don't intend starting now. I love and appreciate everything about you so much. And I can't stop thanking you for always choosing me as a wife. And always standing by that your choice that I'm your wife. Thank you so much. Please. I almost made a grievous mistake recently. I approached a friend for an advice about this male child issue. And she suggested to me that I go sleep with the palace cook so that he will impregnate me. Did you sleep with him? Can you please calm down? Stop talking. Did he sleep with I you? Say, I say, come Answer me. me. Did he? No, he didn't. I couldn't get myself to do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't allow pressure <sighs> to get a better part of me. I know what I want. And you are what I want and no one else. All I had wanted was go sleep with him without your knowledge. But I couldn't. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Tell me the truth. Did he? No, he didn't. You can check. Very obvious, my sisters are deceiving me. <laughs> Otherwise, why do I keep seeing them around the cook? Yet, they deny having anything to do with him. <sighs> Can they really play this game? <laughs> Can they? Me, I am not ready to let go of the cook. Not for anybody. Never. He's mine and my shall he remain. Nobody will take him 
from me. Nobody. Nobody. Pack your things and leave my palace immediately. And immediately! If I come back here and see me hold your face in this palace, I'll break the palm canner that you will never finish chewing. Rubbish. Nincompo. Bloody Scalibur! Bunker! No respect! Evil! Trying to frustrate me. They say my food is not enough. For. They want my ojolo jolla. They said they hate me before. Now they come, they love me, die. Jay, ordinary cook. Ordinary I'm done to love a boy. I was in my heart to kick you. Jay, and I saw so see my soul. But now I don't bless you. Oh, Nanji, the Lentapia and Tapia. I don't get joy again. Everybody must go last year. Joy, Benji, 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 in a ball, who could not know you? On your wet, the lay goes Catapia, then a Benjamin. Celebrity cookie, no mazin, I want to lie, I want to lie. They say my food is not enough. They want my ojolo jolla. They said they hate me before. Now they come, they love me, die. Jai, ordinary cook, I'm done to love a boy. I was in my heart to kick you. Jai, I'm not saucing my soul. But now I don't bless you. Oh, Nanji, the Lentapia and Tapia. I don't get joy again. Everybody must go last year. Joy, Benji, Benji, in a ball, who could not know you? Oh, no, what the lady goes. What is going on? Who gets an eating? Father, we are not hungry. Oh, Father, how do you expect us to eat this, this food? I can't eat this. I can't. What is wrong with the food? I'm eating it. It's very tasty. If you can't eat this, I think we have other food in this house. You go and manage with that. Dad. Dad, why did you send him away? Who? The cook. Ah. Yes, oh. Father. Well, it is personal. But, but all the same, if I should allow that young man to continue staying in this palace, there will be lots of problems. I smell trouble coming. That's why I decided to send him home. Besides, we heard some incriminating things about him. Mom, that was why I took that decision. Yes. Father, Benjamin is not a troublesome person. Yes. I don't think he has ever had any problem with anyone in this palace before. Mm -hmm. Eh? So sending him out is very unfair, father. What is the implication? You girls want him back? Yes, yes dad. We want him back. Uh, father, listen. The truth is, we are already used to eating food prepared by Benjamin. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know how I, how I, 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 I will start eating this food that I don't even know who made it. I'm not hungry. I don't know about others. So you can go ahead and call it whatever. You can call it hunger strike. Me too. I am not eating this food. Dad, Mom. I joined my sisters. Father. Let's call a spade a spade. What you did was very wrong. Mother, please, let me know when you are done with the food. Let me come and collect the plates. I am living with my sisters. 
It's okay, but you never liked him. We all this for your safety and everything. We were born with um, Benjamin. Is this a kind of protest? That's the solidarity movement. <laughs> solidarity for Benjamin. Please eat your food. Greetings, my friend. Greetings, my dear. Sit. My queen. Yes, my darling. Prince, if I need you. The second son of uh, King Hazulike of the Mama Kingdom. Oh. Yeah. You're welcome to our home. You're such a handsome prince. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my queen. You know, my queen, I am blessed to be in this palace. Mm. <laughs> you can say that again. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, before I 